magic mushrooms is how I ended up in rehab. Not because I was addicted to mushrooms, though. Before I get into this story, I want to tell you, I am not endorsing the use of drugs at all. Not even psychedelic ones. It's stuff that can really fuck your whole shit up if you're not ready for it, if you have latent psychological conditions in you, in your genetics. There are different reasons for why it can really mess things up, but it is my truth. <laughs> so it's fucking cheesy. And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna tell you it. Okay. Real quick, I'm about to tell a story about myself, but this is for you. So think about your shit in your life while I go into this. Okay, back to it. For many years, I accomplished pretty much everything I wanted to accomplish. And then that kind of stopped. Um, and it seemed like it was really gonna uh, not be going on anymore. It seemed like I think I'm at the end of my road here. I was in a band with my brother and my sister and we were doing covers on YouTube and it went very, very well. We were signed with a record label and it didn't seem like that was going anywhere. And so my brother and my sister were gonna move back away from Los Angeles. They were going to move out of our home together and go back home to our original home in New Jersey, where I'm from. It started to seem like everything was unraveling for me. The whole time throughout my whole late teens and entirety of 20s, I was smoking weed. It was never really a problem for me, I don't think. But I started to use it as a serious crutch during this time, where I was kind of not allowing myself to admit that life wasn't going the way I wanted it to anymore, the way I planned it. So I was smoking a lot of weed, somewhere around 10 grams a day. That's embarrassing, but it's true. Um, every day. It's a lot. I'm going to do a video on this. The point is, it was bad. At a certain point, I decided to take mushrooms with a friend of mine. And we went to Joshua Tree in California, classic place to take mushrooms. And uh, something happened there that changed the course of my whole life. I was exploring a mountain, walking up a mountain. It was an amazing journey. And when I got to the top of the mountain, we hung out there for a little bit. And then it was like, let's go back down. You know what I mean? That was fun. Let's do more fun. It's a little symbol that is just life is that it's an always moving thing so at the top of the mountain let's go down and even this is a miniature journey yeah <laughs> like now that one's over okay and now we like do the next one right what was it go down we were gonna go down right <laughs> okay so we started walking down the mountain i left my water at the top of the mountain i left my water bottle and i really wanted water Oh, my water. That's what my mind is saying. You left something here. And so I had to make a decision. Would I rather keep going down the mountain, get to the bottom without water? Or would I rather go back up to the top, grab my water and come back down? In one scenario, I have water at the bottom of the mountain. In another scenario, I don't. I decided I'm gonna go back because I want to be at the bottom of the mountain with my water. I don't just wanna be at the bottom of the mountain. I think the lesson there was I don't just want to get a thing, like going to the bottom of the mountain. What I really want is being at the bottom of the mountain comfortably with my water, a way that's good for me, right? So it's like just beating against a door to try to get into a room. All right, so then you get in there and now you're dead. Kind of made me feel like the way that I've been going about my life, just endlessly pounding on something that maybe isn't even the right move anymore, right? The career that I had been going for didn't seem like it was going to continue the way I wanted it to, but to, I, would, I was just kind of trying to grasp for it. But it wasn't what I even wanted anymore exactly. I, 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 I wouldn't have been comfortable had I got there, so... Going back up to the top of the mountain was kind of a symbol there. So I got up to the top of the mountain, I grabbed my water, and I started walking back down. This is where it really happened. The real reason I ended up in rehab is from this. As I was walking down the mountain the second time, I was doing my best to just walk straight. Because in my mind, I was thinking, oh my god, you can get somewhere the quickest by going straight toward it. You don't need to weave. You can just go straight toward it. That's the quickest way. Everything on 
this mushroom trip was symbolic to me. So I remember in the moment even thinking that. And at a certain point, had I continued walking straight, I would have likely hurt myself because the, there was like a gap in the mountain where I could have really fallen and hurt myself. It was not a smart decision for me to keep going straight. And in that moment, I realized I've already decided I want to be at the bottom of the mountain with my water. But you know what I really want? To be at the bottom of the mountain without a broken leg. In order to do that, I was going to need to go to the left or to the right. And it was going to slow down my mission of getting to the bottom of the mountain. But in that moment, I realized, who the hell cares if it slows down my mission? I would much rather have a slower mission with a leg that's not broken. And this is where I started to really reevaluate my life. And it made me think, you know, in this mission to get to the bottom of the mountain, I've needed to not only now go left or right, but I actually, with the water thing, needed to go what felt like backwards up to the top of the mountain. But is it really backwards? if it's going to get me down there safely the way I want to be. Whoa, we were going down straight, you remember? But then just now we veered off to the left a little bit. So like, I guess the idea is that even if it seems a little veering to the left or right, the reason we did that was because it was like better to do it than to keep going down. It would have been full of you as a fool's errand. Wow, true. Whoa, I'm like so okay with everything. This feels like a movie that I know I'm going to cry in. <laughs> and it just kind of like happened. It clicked in my head. Something spoke to me and said, maybe I should go to rehab. Because if you get to where you want to get, you're not going to be able to handle it. What's going to happen? Are you going to pick up a new drug? What's going to happen? Something not good. I'm not going to be able to handle it if I get what I want. And I need to reassess. Man, being a person who always was just bop going toward my thing. Being that kind of person, this really felt like a step in the wrong direction. But I kept reminding myself of the mountain. It would give me an, the ability to get to where I actually want to get to safely. And thank God I went. Because when I got out, everything changed. And my mission was no longer even what it used to be. For a minute there, I didn't even have one. For a minute there, I didn't even have vision. It was a blob. But once vision came in, I was able to go full force at it with this lesson in hand. And now I had reference experience that this lesson works because I was so much happier from having gone to rehab. I was so much happier getting out and I saw, wow, it's not just mountains going left or right or backward in real life results in good things. Sometimes if you left your water bottle up at the top or if you're going to break your leg, if you keep going. I hope that was meaningful for you guys.